Hello everyone. I am Archana from Edureka. I welcome you all to this live session on how to become a cyber security engineer. So let me walk you through today's agenda first. We will begin by discussing who is a cyber security engineer and what a cyber security engineer does. Then we'll go through roles and responsibilities of a cyber security engineer and the skills he or she should possess. Moving on, I'll walk you through different career paths that you can follow to become a cyber security engineer. Finally, we will end the session by discussing the salary of a cyber security engineer. So, I hope agenda was clear with you guys. Okay, let's get started then. So, guys, the most trending question these days is if or not one should consider a career in cyber security. If you ask me, I say definitely yes. Here are a few reasons as to why. First of all, you will be part of an exciting and challenging field. As a cyber security professional, you will be working daily to keep critical infrastructure secure and will constantly be facing new and engaging challenges. Secondly, you will find more job opportun opportunities. Because cyber security is such a fast growing field, there is a high employer demand for qualified professionals. Well, to be precise, there are a lot of cyber security jobs to be filled and the demand doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. You can earn higher pay. Since the number of people opting for cyber security jobs is usually less, companies are paying more than ever to land highly qualified cyber security professionals. Lastly, you will be able to choose an industry that interests you. One of the most appealing aspects of cyber security is that the field can be applied to many different industries from government to finance, healthcare and retail trade. So a career in cyber security clearly has its own benefits. There are hundreds of job titles in cyber security, but some of the top positions include security administrator, cyber security engineer, security analyst, penetration tester, security consultant and many more. But as for today's session, we will be discussing about cyber security engineer. So who is a cyber security engineer? A cyber security engineer is a professional who protects computer and networking systems from potential hackers and cyber attacks. Security engineer provides a specialized engineering approach to cyber security specifically regarding the design of security systems to avoid and fight against issues like data breaches or major data hacks. But what is exactly a cyber security engineer do? Well, it's no surprise that the faulty software often leaves networks vulnerable to malware, spyware, adware, phishing and different kind of attacks. A security engineer analyzes computer networks, ensures they are running securely and tries to foresee possible security issues that may arise in future. In short, a security engineer focuses on designing computer systems equipped to deal with disruptions like natural disasters or malicious cyber attacks. So guys, now you know in general what a cyber security engineer does. Now let's look at roles and responsibilities of a cyber security engineer. Like I said earlier, a cyber security engineer's primary mission is to protect the computer systems and networks of an organization from threats and attacks. To consistently achieve this mission, there are many tasks and duties a cyber security engineer must perform. Let's take a look at few of the most common functions. First of all, Developing a set of security standards and practices that entire organization that he or she is working in should follow. Secondly, monitoring networks and systems for security breaches or any kind of intrusions. Installing software that helps with notification of intrusions or any sort of data breach, breach so that immediate action can be taken. Performing penetration testing and network scans to identify weaknesses and vulnerabilities. Developing automation scripts to handle and track incidents. Suppose if a data breach of some sort or some sort of cyber attack happens, a cyber security engineer launches investigation against such attacks. A cyber security engineer is also responsible for developing and implementing a plan of action for responding to data breaches or any sort of cyber attacks. Apart from all this, a cyber security engineer also oversees maintenance of firewalls, routers, switches, different kind of network monitoring tools and virtual private networks. He makes recommendations to management regarding security enhancements and improvements. Finally, a cyber security engineer 
also train and educate network users on information security well these are some aspects of job that are handled or performed daily you will never know what a day in cyber security engineer's life entails until it happens so it's difficult to completely cover the full scope of duties expected of a cyber security engineer given the fact that the role is defined so differently from one organization to another however these are the generalized roles every cyber security engineer performs in any sort of organization now that we know about the roles and responsibilities let's go ahead and take a look at the skills that you should possess in order to become a cyber security engineer cyber security engineers work on front line of information assurance performing detail oriented tasks for companies and government organizations all around the world their education skills and training are the only things that stand between us and future attacks don't you guys agree with me the job of a security engineer is highly technical one so employees will expect you to have a bachelor degree in computer science cyber security or a related field like information system general computer science or information technology security additionally most employers will expect their employees to have an understanding of cyber security methodologies in addition to that you should also have knowledge of current cyber security trends and attacks and you should have interest in researching of emerging trends and hacking techniques you should have sound knowledge in programming languages like java python.net or what we call it as pythonet for python for .net c++ bash and powershell you should also have solid working knowledge of computer operating systems and different kind of networking protocols a solid understanding of networking concepts like osi model renovant ports and services is also necessary after all it's network that a cyber security engineer protects right as with most careers there is handful of personal qualities and aptitudes that could make one well suited for a career in cyber security engineering so these are some soft skills that you should possess to become a cyber security engineer Generally speaking security engineers are known for their complex problem solving skills and creative minds as a cyber security engineer you will definitely be spending fair amount of time working with an IT team or other departments so you should have strong oral and communication skills you should also have keen eye for details that is you should be very detail oriented you should be capable of working long hours and dealing with stress that is work under pressure So guys these are some hard skills and different kind of soft skills that you should possess to become a successful cyber security engineer while on top of all this it's good to get a cyber security certification certifications always prove that you have all the knowledge required to do your job well so guys at this point you must know what who is a cyber security engineer what he or she does and what are the skills required to be a cyber security engineer now Let's take a look at different career paths that you can take to become a cyber security engineer. Right now as you can see I have four columns here. The first column is feeder roles. These feeder roles are like stepping stones into a career in cyber security. Let's say right now you're working in some other department or field but you want to switch to cyber security field then considering one of these feeder role is always a plus point. But let's say you're not working you want to kick start your career in cyber security. then you can directly get into one of these entry level roles as you can see apart from feeder role i have entry level mid level and advanced level roles these are like core cyber security roles that are most commonly required job categories across the cyber security ecosystem well these are based on experience educational level and credential required by employers so like i said earlier you can get into feeder role or you can directly get into entry level role if you are a beginner So once you make your way to one of these entry level roles from here you can get into any of this mid level roles as in cyber security analyst or consultant or a penetration tester for example let's say you're a cyber security technician then you can go ahead and opt for cyber security analyst or any one of these mid level roles same thing goes for cyber crime analyst and incident responder but as for IT auditor if you're a IT auditor you can only go for cyber security consultant and penetration tester It's not possible to become a cyber security analyst per se. So once you've landed up in mid-level roles from here, you can get into one of these advanced level roles. For example, from cyber security analyst, you can become a cyber security engineer or a cyber security architect or cyber security admin. Same goes for the cyber security consultant as well. But as for the penetration tester, 
you can either become a cyber security engineer or cyber security architect. Well, this looks like a lot of information to grasp, right? Let me summarize what we've learned with respect to cyber security engineer. So like I said, if you want to switch your career, you can consider one of these feeder roles. That's either networking or systems engineer or software development. Or you can start your career with entry level roles like analyst or incident responder. From these, you can make your way to become a mid-level cybersecurity analyst or cybersecurity consultant. From then, you can become a cybersecurity engineer. So once you've become a cybersecurity engineer, you don't like the job or if, you, or if you're not satisfied with the work, then you can always change your career by becoming a cybersecurity architect. And suppose if you're a cybersecurity architect, architect, you can change for cybersecurity engineer as well. Same from cybersecurity engineer to cybersecurity admin. So guys, these are some career paths that you could take to become a cybersecurity engineer. But let me tell you one thing. These are not like fixed career paths, so you can switch your careers in between. Now let's talk about the most interesting part, salary of a cybersecurity engineer. Like I said earlier, a cybersecurity engineer works on front lines defending private information from all kinds of trouble. So it's no surprise that when the right candidate is found, businesses are more than willing to offer competitive six-figure salaries. Out of all cybersecurity roles, let me tell you one thing. Cybersecurity engineer gets the top pay. Let's take a look at average salary range from entry level to senior level cybersecurity engineer. For an entry level cybersecurity engineer, average salary range starts from $54,000 and it can last up to $104,000. But as for mid-level cybersecurity engineer, the starting salary is usually $68,000 approximately and it can go up to $129,000. But as for senior level cybersecurity engineer, the starting salary is usually $82,000 and it can go up to $147,000. So guys, as you can see, there's a significant demand for cybersecurity professionals, especially cybersecurity engineers, as the work they do is incredibly important. Now let's take a look of what is the salary of a cybersecurity engineer in India. Well, these are just approximate numbers. So as you can see, for an entry-level cybersecurity in India, it's about approximately 3,26,000 average salary per annum. And as for mid-level cybersecurity engineer, it's about 6 lakhs. And for advanced senior-level cybersecurity engineer, it can go up to 12 lakhs. It looks very enticing, right? So as you can see, the salary of a cybersecurity engineer is fairly high because of increasing and prevailing cyber attacks across industries. Companies of all sizes are willing to pay more and more. This is it guys, we have reached the end of the session. Stay tuned for more live sessions. Thank you guys.